What up? I got nice skin here with me. This ain't a diss song. But, um, yeah, uh huh, you know what it is. I'm a cheese head, y'all niggas cheese whiz. Pittsburgh Steelers, that's nothing. That Super Bowl ring, that's nothing. Pull up in your town when you see me. You gotta hit the reset button. It's zero and zero each week, and you're trying to go one and zero for the week. This is our first real test of adversity. I think we have the right character. I think we got the right leadership in that locker room that our guys will stick together and we'll fight to go win and play the next game. That next game is in Dallas and the adversity is real. To get win number four, the Packers may have to make do without a number of injured starters. The final injury report lists Devontae Adams as out for Sunday's game. The Packers now need the rest of the receiving core to rise up and accept the challenge. Whoever's up, they got to be ready to go. There's going to be a lot of opportunities for people, and it's going to be exciting to see who steps up. Running back Jamal Williams is still in the concussion protocol, and he's also out. So who gets the carries? We could see Dexter Williams in game action for the first time, but I'd still expect to see plenty of Aaron Jones. I was born to play football, so I mean, I feel like I could play every snap. If it was something I had to do, I'd be ready. The cornerback depth could also take a hit. Most notably, Kevin King, who's listed as doubtful. The back end could see plenty of young players in the rotation, and perhaps a heavy dose of veteran Tremont Williams. He's so versatile, there's nothing he hasn't seen. He's such a great role model for the rest of the guys in that room of, of really, truly being a pro. His approach every day, he just helps those younger guys out a lot. It'll be all hands on deck in Dallas. The Packers and Cowboys kick off Sunday at 325 with a 4-1 record at stake. Love my team. Yeah, that's the team with them big G's on the helmet.